Hello there and welcome to this Biology Mind A-level tutorial on ester bonding. So we have two key learning objectives for today. Number one, condensation and hydrolysis reactions and number two, ester bonding in triglyceride formation. I'm showing you a few empty blobs on the screen and I want you to do your best to try and fill in what's happening here. So first of all, I want you to have a think at what reaction are triglycerides formed by. So what reaction is it? And number two, what are the constituents in the reaction? So what are these monomers here? Because remember, we've already talked about what the final triglyceride structure is. So you should be able to have a little think about what these monomers are. And first and second of all, if you know what the reaction is that triglycerides are formed from, then you'll know what molecule is produced here in addition to our final triglyceride structure. So just have a pause of the video and just have a think if you'd like to have a go before I reveal the answer. Okie dokie, so I'm going to reveal. This is what is happening. So first of all, let's just think about what is going on here. So this is our triglyceride. So it's our glycerol bonded to three fatty acids. Okay, so that's our basic structure of our triglyceride, which means that our monomers of a triglyceride must be one glycerol and three fatty acids. Simple. Now, what's going on here? So we know that the reaction that forms triglycerides is a condensation reaction. And in a condensation reaction, we get the forming of chemical bonds between monomers to form a larger structure such as the polymer triglyceride. And we always get the formation of water. As a result of this. So always, always remember that in a condensation reaction we always get that water forming along with the other product. So in this case the other product is triglyceride. So this is having a look at it in more detail. So again we have our three fatty acids here. This is our glycerol and over here we have our triglyceride and then our water molecule. And so the reason why this is a condensation reaction is, remember, between our fatty acids and our glycerol, we want to form these bonds. Oops, I didn't mean to draw there. Um, so when we form these bonds, what we're essentially doing is we're taking out these three bits here. So we're taking out three molecules of water, which is what we see over here. So that makes sense, right? And in its place, we leave this lovely bond here. So this is our final triglyceride structure. And remember, this is our process of condensation. So we've talked about our process of condensation. We formed our triglyceride. And what is that bond that we formed? So that bond is called an ester bond. So if we just flip back to the, to the previous slide, this here is our ester bond. Look at that nice ester bond. And that's formed between our glycerol and our fatty acids. So just flip back again, glycerol and fatty acids. And then triglycerides can be formed by condensation, which means that they are broken down by the reverse process, so hydrolysis. Now, if condensation involves the production of water as a result of bonds forming, hydrolysis breaks bonds with the addition of water. So we add water to our triglyceride and that results in its breakdown to glycerol and fatty acids and this is via the process of hydrolysis. Alrighty, so just a little tip is 
In terms of drawing triglycerides in your exams, and in particular if you're drawing the fatty acid in the exam, you can just use the letter R to denote the hydrocarbon chain. So R is the hydrocarbon chain. And the reason why you can use R is because this hydrocarbon chain over here can be any length. It could be just carbon bonded to three hydrogens and then to the COOH, the carboxyl group, or it could be carbon bonded to three hydrogens to another carbon, which is in turn bonded to two hydrogens to a carboxyl group. So what I'm trying to tell you is that this length of this hydrocarbon chain can be anything from really short to tens of carbons long or more. And you don't want to be sitting around in your exam drawing that. So in its place, it's very commonplace to write an R to denote the fatty acid hydrocarbon chain, which can be a variable length. So just a nice little tip there for you, and you'll see it written like that in the textbooks. Okay, so that's tutorial eight completed for today. Well done for following through till the end. Remember, condensation and hydrolysis are really important in forming and breaking those ester bonds between glycerol and fatty acids in a triglyceride. See you for the next tutorial.